lot of good announcements out there. So we'll keep the mic open until you guys are ready. Yep. Come on in. You're right on time, Council Lady Langster. Got 25 minutes. We on now. We, we got 25 minutes, so tea time. Okay, you push a button. There you go, bro. Council Lady Langston, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem uh, Walter Hunt. It's certainly been a pleasure being recognized by you uh, for the last year as your term uh, of office. Uh, uh, as Speaker Pro Tem uh, winds down, not Thank your you. term as council member because you're unopposed. But anyway, first, I, doing the budget here, and I failed to recognize the group that should be uh, Metro 3 employees. Hi, they're watching us now. Uh, they do such a good job of uh, keeping us in touch uh, with our constituents through audio visual uh, by showing the repeat of the council meetings, repeat of planning commission, uh, uh, just wherever we are, uh, we're visible through their services. I know they're paid Metro employees, but they do a wonderful, wonderful job, and all of us appreciate them. Uh, next, I would like to wish a very important lady a uh, birthday coming up on July 16th, and that's in the person of my mother, Mrs. Willa D. Taylor. And we love her, we appreciate her, and she's such a good uh, supporter of this council person. But happy birthday, Mom, from your, from your daughter, your son, your grandchildren, just Travis, David, everybody. Happy birthday. Oh, yes, and if I don't call Sandra Taylor's name, she'll be upset, but we wish you a happy birthday July 16th. Next, Regina Boyd had a surprise birthday party on uh, Sunday, July the 3rd Excuse at me Crystal. One okay. at Can we hold it down in the back, please? Thank you. Thank you. Regina Boyd uh, had a birthday party at Crystal Church on Russell Street on yesterday, and it was a wonderful, wonderful event. And we certainly wish her a happy birthday and a happy belated birthday. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem, for acknowledging me. Thank you. And thank you, Council Lady Langster. Councilman Hodge, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, District 30 will have an election forum this coming uh, Saturday, July the 9th, for all countywide candidates as well as the candidates in District 30. It will be at the Christ Lutheran Church, 299 Haywood Lane. We will begin at 4 o'clock. The doors will open uh, 30 minutes to an hour early. Uh, we already had uh, 
two mayoral candidates, one vice mayor candidate, eight at-large candidates, and myself who've confirmed. Uh, there may be others as well. So we invite everyone, not only in District 30, but in the surrounding areas of South and Southeast uh, Davidson County to join us. That's July 9th, 4 p.m. this Saturday at Christ Lutheran Church, 299 Haywood Lane. You get a chance to eyeball and meet your candidates. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Hodge. Councilman Coleman, you're recognized. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Got uh, three announcements I'd like to make. One, there's a special town hall meeting on July 7th, uh, 2011, 6.30, p.m. at uh, Mount View Elementary School, 3820 Murfreesboro Road. Like all the neighbors in the Antioch area and surrounding uh, districts to come out, this meeting is a result of the meeting we had earlier. Uh, the the uh, consultants are going to come back and tell us what they can and can't do as it relates to the construction of the park at Hobson Road and Murfreesboro Road. I'd like to uh, make two other announcements. There will be a candidate forum on uh, July the 7th as well at uh, 7 p.m. at the Spirit of Life Church. Uh, you may try to call Ms. Francesca Bush if you'd like to get more information on that, but that will be a candidate forum for the council members in the uh, Antioch area as well as council members at large. So if any members at large would like to participate and you hadn't heard, please call our community leaders, uh, Ms. Francesca Bush. The second meeting is at Cane Ridge Community Center on uh, July the 11th. That meeting will be a candidate forum as well, 7 p.m. Mr. Steve Albanathy, 941-4732, is the person in charge of that forum. I'd like to see all the neighbors come out. Come out and see your candidates, see who will uh, guide the district for you over the next four years. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Thank you, Councilman Coleman. Any other announcement at this time? No. Councilman Dominey. You're Thank on. you. Uh, I just want to reiterate the uh, candidate form on the 7th, the Spirit of Life Church, 7 p.m. That's going to be an uh, interesting event for candidates from tw District 28 through District 33. Have confirmations from numerous candidates. There's a few that haven't confirmed yet, and uh, I believe there's about eight different cat large candidates that are planning on being there. I will be there. Look forward to seeing everybody there. Also, uh, plan to attend the Night Out Against Crime. There's an event taking place at Hickory Hollow Mall. That'll be August 2nd. The event again is at, at Hickory Hollow Mall. You can contact uh, the uh, receptionist over at Freeland Chevrolet to get more information on that. And um, I don't recall the number off the top of my head, but it's Freeland Chevrolet on Hickory Hollow Parkway. They're helping put that on with THAP, and uh, it's going to be a good event celebrating the community in Southeast Davidson County. I look forward to seeing everybody out there. Thank you, Councilman Dominic. Uh, Council Lady Langster, you are recognized. Thank you. I had one additional. I want to thank the employees of Public Works who did an outstanding job last night, early this morning, cleaning up after that magnificent July 4th uh, celebration we had. But I was in town earlier today, and it was really, um, you could really, you couldn't see any debris left over from uh, that fabulous um, celebration. But thank you to Public Works and to all the other people involved in getting that, getting the downtown area cleaned up. Thank you. Thank you, Council Lady Langster. Council Lady Will Hoyt. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem, and I uh, wanted to just say to you, I hope you had a very eventful 4th of July. To the viewing audience, I hope they also had a very eventful 4th of July. We celebrate our, uh, our legacy as Americans in the United States. We appreciate all that, we, uh, all that the service men and women do to help uh, protect our rights as citizens. I, you know, of course, the United States of America is one of the greatest countries in all the world, so we appreciate all that everyone done, and we hope that everyone had a great 4th of July this past weekend. Uh, I'd like to also state that on the 4th of July, many have celebrated great birthdays. And one of those birthdays was celebrated by a very sweet and dear lady by the name of Mrs. Dorothy Smith. Now, Mrs. Dorothy Smith has, has done an exceptional job in being one of the head leaders of her family, raising many of her grandchildren, children, and nieces and nephews, and they all were there to celebrate her birthday at Mr. and Mrs. Hall's home, which is her grandchildren. So I just want to say to um, Mrs. Smith, congratulations, Mrs. Smith, and as I promise, I will not 
say the day, the, the number of years, but know this, you look absolutely wonderful. And we were, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to be there with you on the 4th of July and celebrate that with you as well. Uh, on another note, very sad note, I'd like to extend to one of our District 29 community leaders, Mrs. Lena Brown Prince, on behalf of the neighbors of District 29, I'd like to extend to her our deepest sympathy in the passing of her sister, Mrs. Louise Stewart, who is a resident in Louisville, Kentucky. Mrs. Prince, unfortunately, we did not have the opportunity to bid her farewell to her sister, and we are in deep, sincere prayer for her and her family as she traveled and is there uh, being with her family during this time. And last, but of course, definitely not, definitely not least, I want to say to my husband, Larry, I love you and I enjoyed very much of our wedding July 3rd, 18 years ago, and we I had a wonderful time on our wedding anniversary of 18 years, and I want the viewing audience to know that I asked him would he stay married to me for 18 years plus. He said he's got to see about it, but I know he loves me. But I want to send it to my, extend to my husband, I love you, Larry, and looking forward to the rest of our lives forever together. Thank you. Did he say when he's going to commit? Now, 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 Speaker Pro Tem, you take care of your household and I'll take care of mine, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Are there any other announcements? You got a few more minutes? One more. I'm yes. Sorry. Yes, by all means. And yes, say the date, District 29, July 16th. July 16th, Mr. David Wainick and I will be uh, uh, planning a very fabulous open house of his new business in District 29 at the Grandale Manor. Looking forward to everyone being there. Thank you. Thank you, Council Lady Wilhoyt. Are there any other announcements? Got a few more minutes left, and so we will see if anybody comes in and uh, might want to have an announcement. Are there any other announcements? If there are no other announcements, the announcement period is now closed.